Hey guys, how's it going? Ricky here, all along with Sean Anderson, and Sean's happier than a pig in slop because he gets to talk about his New England Patriots going up against the Miami Dolphins, and this is really, I wanted to say, oh, a meaningless game, but the Patriots need to win this one, Sean. They do, because if, well, they, if they lose and the Raiders win, the Raiders will have the number yeah. one overall seed in the playoffs. However, Miami, it's not meaningless for them either. They want to get some momentum going into the playoffs. What are your keys? Who? You, well, what are your keys, and why the Patriots are you picking? Okay, well, the, that was a very Yoda way to say yeah. that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, <laughs> New England, the key for New England, it's been the key all year. I mean, this defense, while they have been giving up yards, while they haven't been able to pressure the quarterback, while they haven't been able to create that many turnovers, they are keeping their opponents to low scores. They are the best scoring defense in the NFL, and also looking at New England. Obviously, New England's been dominating the NFL in the past 16 years since Tom Brady's come over. 14 division titles. Uh, Miami, I believe, won one of those, uh, and that was in 2008 when uh, Matt Castle went out, and that was the uh, Wildcat there with Ronnie Brown. Mm -hmm. uh, so Miami had, had, I mean, they've had okay success for New England like, compared to, actually, no, they haven't. No, no team has had success besides, like, the Broncos against the Patriots. But really, the key for New England is do what you've been doing because, really, you haven't, you don't need to change much. You're 14, and, well, going to be 14-2 and two after this win. So Ooh, you don't big, really need to. Big, big prediction. You, you don't need to change that much, even though it is against Miami, and it's at Miami, and Miami is a good team. New England, you're going up against Matt Moore. Don't change anything. You'll be fine. The key for Miami, you need pressure from Mario Williams. You need pressure from Ndamukong Sue. You need pressure from Cameron Wake. You need to pressure Tom Brady. And you really need to be bringing three to four guys on every single uh, on every single you know blitzing package and on every single defensive drive because if you're able to bring four or three guys and pressure Tom Brady, then you're able to drop back eight or uh, yeah eight or eight or seven back in, in, in into coverage, and that's going to be able to help you cover this field. It's going to be able to take away these short routes, these deep routes. So as long as you're able to bring pressure, then you'll have a chance to win it. But with Matt Moore starting. I'm going to take New England. This is, this line for Miami is also a little bit banged up. They're not as good as they were in, in that week four, five, and six range where J.J. had back-to-back 200-yard -back rushing. I know he just came off another 200-yard uh, rushing game against Buffalo, but I think that New England's going to get this one. I think it's going to be a close one, though. I'm going to pick New England 27-21. Well, this is where you guys come in. Let us know what are your keys, who do you got, and hit that like and that subscribe button. But for Sean, for me, as always, have a good day, everybody.